hello everyone this is manoj welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we will discuss and talk about redux middleware all right before starting the video let me share a document with you so before using the implementation of middleware let's understand what is middleware so basically redux middleware is a medium through which we can make or we can add extra logic before action you know lands to the reducer as you can see redux middleware acts as a medium between dispatching an action and handing over to the action to the reducer so it listens all the dispatches and executes code with the details of the action and current states it means whenever you dispatch an action it directly goes to reducer if you are not using middleware but if you are using middleware then the action should go to middleware and then if you are using an api so it goes to the api otherwise it will then directly go to the reducer so here this is the point or this is the place where we use middleware all right and here we can add our extra logic as per your requirement to do the modules all right so this is a little bit information about redux middleware now go to visual studio code so as of now you can see we have created a simple redux uh, application so if you add like anything so it is coming into this list if i add another one you can see and if you go to the developer tools and in the redux tab so you can see we can see our state if i go to the state so we will see two items like this the product name all right now we are not using middleware so now in this video we will use middleware so for that first we need to install a package npm install redux logger so we will use our logger to log whatever actions we are doing on our front end so it will log each and every step in the console so we can identify what is the previous state and what is the next state all right so let it install as you can see the package has been installed this is the package now we need to go to our store folder and as of now we are having this store but let's create a separate store so right click on the folder create let's say new store.js and import create store redux also we need to import apply middleware another one is import logger from redux logger which we just install the package so now const new store equal create store and inside this we need to give our root reducer which is if i go back to our old store so let's copy this one and paste it and if you see the first parameter it says the reducer and the second one like your middleware or your action all right so let's pass the root reducer first and then apply middleware and inside this just pass the logger object so we are done with our store finally export default new store save this now we need to go our index.js which is in like source folder if i collapse all these so this is the index.js here we are having the older store so let's comment this and now import the new store import new store from 
store new store and in the provider let's copy this and in the provider paste the new store so save this so we are done with our middleware logger now as we just installed a new package so we need to start the development server again so for that npm start so it will start the development server again and we will see our changes in the browser so let's go to the chrome browser it will open a separate tab for this so let's wait for a while So now we are in the browser let me close the previous tab so the component has been rendered so let's open the developer tools first go to the console and let's clean this now if I try to add any product so you can see we are having our state so this is previous state and this is the action which, which we just dispatched and this is the next state so if I expand the previous state so at initial like when this component rendered we don't have any item like this one so after that we dispatched an action and then after this we got a item which is mild steel vertical air tapping machine as you can see on the screen as also in the state so let's add another item so let's say this one submit so now let me close the previous state again we are having three different state this is the previous if I expand this so we are supposed to have one item as you can see and again we dispatch the same action like add product and let's see the next state so this time we are supposed to have two items perfect so you can see these are two items as you can see on the component as also in the state let me also collapse this and let's try to add another one so see we are having previous state we are having whatever action we are dispatching or we are having the current state or the next state so this is how you can use your middleware logger and you can also see like what is changing in your state whatever action you are dispatching what state was previous what is the next state like current state all right so this is about how you can use your middleware and your logger all right so this is about today's video i hope you like it if you did so hit the like button share comment in case you face any kind of difficulty or you need any help regarding my react videos my dotnet videos or web api or sql videos so kindly connect with me on instagram my instagram handle is open programmer you can also find this in my channel description so i'll see you in the next one thanks for the watching take care bye bye